What's up everybody? Jason with HOJ Forge. Got a custom order. Let's build it. Okay, so uh, not a knife this time around. We're actually uh, doing some, some real blacksmithing stuff. Uh, I was at a show and uh, someone came up and showed me some pictures of something that he's hoping that I can replicate for him. I guess he's already got some of these around his house and he needs one more. And uh, so I'm just gonna do my best to replicate what's here. Um, he gave me some measurements and here we go. So before we get to that, if you'd all uh, check out the uh, t-shirts I have for sale, I got a bunch of them. And um, check out my Etsy store if you're interested in purchasing anything from me. And other than that, let's get going. So I'm sort of making this up as I go along because I've never really done quite anything like this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, I think we decided that it was half inch bar. It's 27 inches from tip to tip. And uh, it's just some little leaf type designs on each end. It looks like from a close up that the bottom one was actually welded on. These, I can't tell. And I think they may have been forged in. I'm gonna try forging them all in. Um, there's one hole drilled out up there that it's mounted with. Uh, candle holder looks like it's welded on there and this ring on here uh, he said is um, that's welded in place it doesn't swing so all in all it looks like something I should be able to do um, I'm thinking I'm gonna weld those together I mean I, I don't know nee, 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 nee. can you tell I think it I think that's welded together um, I think you know the 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 little ends there are welded to each side so I think that's how I'm going to do it and I'll have to grind them down and clean it up and make it look pretty but I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to play around I got plenty of half inch stock um, first things first is I'm going to try and make these little uh, leaf type things there's no detail in them I've just got to get the right shape so I'm going to play around and see what I can come up with so and look at there I got a whole new bench uh, built and set up to uh, hold everything from the, the flux and uh, all my tongs and everything. Trying to clean up the uh, the shop here, the garage, and, and get it ready so that I can start giving some classes. So um, hopefully within the next few weeks I'll uh, be able to start offering just some, some real basic, you know, I don't even know, come and forge a hook and we'll have some fun kind of classes and, uh, you know, or uh, a simple knife or something like that but we'll figure that out as we go but uh, I think uh, doing some classes will be good okay so first things first I think I'm just gonna get a point on here taper it right down sort of close to the shape but it's I don't know it's a lot more square so let me, uh, let me play around with this and see if I can uh, get the shape refined a little bit I want these to come out the points not be rounded you know that's that's too leaf like whereas that one's more diamond shaped so I'm gonna play around with it a little more move to the smaller hammer and see what we can get here too. So plan B, I'm going to nip this off and then uh, I'm going to draw out that leaf shape again and I'm just going to take it to the uh, grinder and see if, uh, see if I can grind it to shape a little easier because this just isn't, I know I could get it eventually but I can't spend all that time on it because I didn't charge the guy all that much for this. So 
we'll, uh, we'll nip it off here and then uh, go to plan B. Okay, so, does that look like, mm, where are you? Does that look like that? And I want to say, yes. Let me see if I can get it to where it's uh, nice and even for you. I think that's pretty dang close. Um, so, there we go. Um, that was pretty easy, so now I need to come up with 27 inches from tip to tip. This piece here, um, I don't think is long enough. This was my scrap. Test it and see how you can do a piece. So I'm going to do one up 27 inches, and then I'm going to do the shorter ones, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, one thing I like to do, I got the both sides done there uh, on the long one. So one thing I like to do that I don't see a whole lot of smiths do is um, put some hammer marks and things. I don't know. The, 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 the aspect of it being handy for it means that it's got some character to it. Now, I'm not trying to dent it up so it's ugly and there's huge gouges in it or anything, but just to make it look like it was worked over um, and not just some homogenous piece of steel, because that's what it is right now. So I'm just going to heat it up the whole way along and uh, just you know put some put some marks in it. Okay, so for the most part, this one's done. I'm going to have to uh, drill a hole in it. I don't want to punch it because I don't want the sides to flare out. So I'm going to drill a hole in it uh, after I get everything else done. Um, but for now, the long piece is set. So I'm going to do uh, take another piece of half inch, do the diamonds on each end, and then cut them off. i gotta got to determine the length. We didn't get a measurement side to side, but um, I should be able to interpret based on how long this is and yada 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 so uh, gonna do this two more times and go from there Okay, so now we need to figure out how long this little cross piece is in relationship to this long piece. So to do that, we need to do some ratios. And to do a ratio, we need to measure this. So we know the ultimate one is 27. 
The one in the picture is 8. We want to find out how much that one is, so that'll be x, and the one in the picture is uh, about 2, 2 and 3, we'll say 2.4 inches. So, for a ratio like this, we go, uh, let me see if I can do this, uh, 27 is the actual, in the picture it's 8, so 27 over 8 times x over 2.4 I believe that's right so then we'll grab the calculator out on the old smartphone and we will go 27 times we go crosswise 2.4 divided by 8 equals 8.1 so the answer actual has to be 8.1 inches total so now we need to do the math to figure that out so that's going to be just under four so like three and a quarter or something like that so let me do the math on that we'll cut these get them welded on and uh we'll be one step closer all right so got these uh welded on and ground down just a little bit Trying to get everything flat. I think that's just about right. But uh, here we go. One cross finish. So I'm going to let this cool and start focusing on the rest of this. I got to get the uh, candle cup with that uh, little holder there in the ring. In fact, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do the ring now. Yeah. So i got to figure out the size of that. I don't have any real good pictures of that. Let me see. So here's the best picture I have of it, and it's still not straight on. So it's a little hard to, to see how wide it is. I'm guessing it's going to be a little narrower than that. That's 8 inches overall, so I'm guessing that's probably about a 5-inch circle. Hmm. I think that's where we'll start. Yeah, maybe maybe six inches. No, because these bricks are eight inches, and there's a, I'm going five. On the circle, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to forge while it closed or anything because it's going to get um, right there. That gets welded into that little bracket. Um, so I'm just going to, where it meets, that's where I'm going to do the weld. And it's going to be hidden by that bracket. So, um, yeah, I'm not worried about closing it up. I think that's all right, because it's going to hang in the bracket like that. And it's going to be covered up. There's the, the little thing that's hanging in front, and it's not going to swing. So, I think that's all right. Okay, so I cut this little circle uh, just out of uh, some scrap I had, and that's going to be this little holder there. That's going to be, I'm going to dish this out uh, on a block of wood. And uh, and that's going to be what holds that little candle cup in. So let's get to that. That's done. So we need to do the candle cup now. And for that, I got some black iron pipe. Um, I'm gonna cut a section off here. Uh, one inch pipe, the inside diameter is uh, almost perfect. It's like three quarters of an inch or maybe just slightly over. It's like almost perfect for a, a candle cup. So. 
Uh, I'm going to cut off a, a hump probably about an inch and a half or so and maybe put some forge marks in it and then weld it to this and then we got to do the bracket, weld it all together and we'll be done! Alright, well I didn't, I just cut uh, a section and then just heated it up, I didn't put any forge marks in it or anything. Um, but I uh, wanted to burn off all that black coating, I don't even know what that stuff is, but it's gone now. So that I can weld to that. And now all I've got to make is this little bracket that sticks out from it and uh, curls around. So uh, I'll find probably some half-inch stock. I don't have any half-inch stock, so I'll have to make it as I go. This is just some uh, 3 8 bar. And I think when I flatten it, Get a dog. All right, the uh, battery on my camera is almost dead, so I'm not going to bother showing the welding or anything. You guys have seen welding a hundred times, but uh, all I'm going to do is weld everything together um, and try to do it as neatly as I can. All I've got is my flux core um, MIG welder. Probably should be TIG welded for the. Yeah, the best welds, but I don't have a TIG welder. And even if I did, I don't know how to TIG weld. So, uh, this is what we're doing, and um, I'll go put it together, and we'll see what the finished product looks like in just a sec. Well, there she is. I'm waiting to hear back from the customer to find out whether he wants me to uh, paint it black and put a polyurethane on it, or uh, just put a polyurethane on it now and it's uh i just brushed it real quick with a wire wheel and if i uh, put a polyurethane on it now it would look really cool so i'm hoping he chooses this way but he might want it black because the, the one in the picture was black so uh just waiting to hear back from him before i call it done and uh and then i'll get some better pictures of it some close-ups and whatnot and put it in my uh portfolio because it came out really cool but um there we go well, there we go. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot of custom work these days, um, mainly because I hate being under the pressure of having to do something within a certain price. Like this guy, he's already paid me for it. He came up to my show. He came up just as I'm getting ready to pack up the other day and uh, showed me the pictures and said, how much to make one of those? And I said, I, I don't know, probably a couple hours in shop time, so 100 bucks, give or take. And uh, he goes, can I pay you now? Uh sure so I took his money and here it is and I undercharged him by about uh, an hour and a half so I probably should have gotten about another $75 from him but that's okay but you know that's that's one more reason why I don't do custom work a lot of the times because I always underbid them and then I feel like I need to be really close to that estimate I don't even know what the laws are you probably have to be within what 10% or something so um, I I you know, I'd rather overbid, but then I always estimate the hours wrong. And like this one, it took me about three and a half hours rather than two. Some of it was my fault, but who the heck knows? Uh, one more project done. So 